Hello guys and welcome to another first look video of a new mod map for Farming Simulator 19. Today we're gonna have a look at the new map called Eastern. So let's start with a description. Welcome to Eastern. This is a map with map terrain 1 to 1 from Central Europe. The map has an amazing and unique atmosphere of small and medium sized farms with possibility of expansion. The map is four times larger than the basic maps we know for our from FS19, the map includes full compatibility with seasons, uh, maze plus, multi-terrain, precision farming support, 11 playable farms, multiplayer ready, 329 fields including meadows, yes 329 fields. New crops, clover, alfalfa, rye, triticle, cabbage, carrot, seed grass, green grass, pasture grass. Animated doors and lamps, new signs on the map, new textures, crops, fields and land, modified traffic, gas stations at local farmers, biogas plants, sawmill, two grain sale points, purchase of beets, potatoes, carrots and cabbage, purchase of straw, eggs, milk, free water and lime point, machines to start, large and small forests. So yeah, as it says in the description, is a four times map which means is for PC and Mac only and if you guys thought that yesterday's video was busy like looking at the map it was busy well be ready for this yep it is super busy as you say 329 fields and we are all like super narrow and super long well, some of them are, you've got a couple of regular sized fields, like squares, square fields on this side, but other than that, they're all like long and narrow. Uh, so it does look like the map's probably based on Poland or somewhere around there, uh, say Central Europe. So I'm not quite sure what country it is. Once again, we're starting in a bus stop, which is, I've seen this on so many maps now. So yeah, since this is a 4x map, it might take a wee while to do a first look video. Um, I quite like the lightning or textures, so it does look a wee bit different, a wee bit brighter. Uh, it's just like we had it on Wasnese, which I've done a couple of days ago. I really do like that. Uh, I like the roads as well, the road texture. But anyway, yeah, let's have a look at the PDA. So we start with a small farm over here and fields 182, 183 and 184 combined you've got five and a half hectares of land let's see the size of a field so we've got field 17 with a wee bit forestry 0 0.3 hectares some more 145 1.8 hectare and then the biggest fields on this side 16.45 hectares 12.38 the price isn't cheap 472,000 for that 613 for this and then the smaller fields are like 65,000 well that's got a lot of forestry within so it's 299,000 but yeah I'm sure you can find some cheap fields on this map like 281 is only 25,000 0 0.9 0 0.59 hectares in size so the fields do look small but they aren't as small as you'd imagine since as a forex map but yeah i'm well causing some traffic there i'm seriously liking the way this main road looks it's like surrounded with all the buildings and everything and usually with forex maps the first look videos take quite a while but since everything's on the main road it shouldn't take us too long. We've got a BGA here as well, which is 51,000. So it's nice to see a BGA is quite cheap. Okay, let's have a look here. As precision ready as mentioned in the description. So you can see we've got a mixture of everything with loamy sand mainly around the farm area. And then you've got sandy loam surrounding that and then it goes into loam eventually but yeah you've got a variety of everything so you can kind of pick and choose between the fields when you buy them okay uh let's go to our house and start from there so that's our farmhouse 
got a wee area for a maybe morning coffee enjoy the view of the barns got a cement mixer yeah so loads of detail as always with this central european slash polish maps you always have a lot of detail i do like the yard being covered in grass everything surrounded with forests so it does feel like i don't know it just feels good <laughs> so yeah let's have a look at the sheds storage space is quite small which is once again a usual thing with like polish type of maps i really like the silo this is really different and really realistic in that side of the world we've got some light happy days everything's working so yeah that's our green silo and a wee bit of storage on this side and we've got more storage here oh wow that's a cow pasture and the thing i really don't like is the static animals i just don't see the point in them, they don't look nice, they don't move, it's just fake. And this is what I do like, is this vast open space, as soon as you leave your yard. Probably the smallest field on a farm, Sim 19, over here. Yeah, let's crack on with a... Uh... Oh, well, that's another field over here, so yeah, you can put some, God knows, grass for your cows or something. Uh, I've got another wee house over here. Even though the sleep trigger is on the other house. Oh no, we in the neighboring yard by the looks of it. Let's have a look if we own this. And we do not. So this is our yard. We've got more storage here. Once again, this being, as you say, Central European slash, well, Polish in my opinion map. As the storage space is small since it's mainly for like small to medium size machinery so yeah that's about it on our yard if we have a look we've got loads of animals across the field i mean across the map so you've got multiple cow pastures you've got horse paddocks as you say the 11 farms all together uh, some pigs here another thing is equipment is all over the place which I don't really know why, but I guess it kind of encourages you to expand and buy more farms instead of just sticking to a small yard. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the shop. Let's see what we've got from the start. So we've got a drop nose, Massey Ferguson 5610. We've got a fan favorite 511C, Voltra A Series 104 and Fiat 1300DT, so we've got a horsepower ranging from 100 horsepower to 150. We've got a couple of harvesters, Bison Super, as always, in every Central European map, if you like. And then we've got a TX32 New Holland. We've got a couple of small green trailers, header for both Bison and the New Holland. A 2 meter plow, 3 meter cultivator, 3 meter Amazon Cedar. And then we've got a coon sprayer, manure spreader, uh, pottinger, 3.1 meter front mower, New Holland baler, and a farmhouse boots. Let's have a look if we've got any modded animal pastures, nothing there. Miscellaneous, nothing there. Right, so it looks like we've not got any modded stuff added. Uh, I wonder if we... Right, so yeah, the only thing we can sell and, uh, and buy back is the boots, which is something I really like because, you know, you, you don't necessarily want to stick to this farm when you start playing, so you can just sell the boots and play some elsewhere. Right, so yeah, so far looking good. I'm really liking the size of this small yard, and I wonder if we can use the sheds in the neighboring yard. Yes, we can. So... Yeah, as I said, you can just expand it to the neighboring kind of fields, farms, 52,000 for, for this yard. Uh, this is probably why the equipment is all over the place, so as I say, probably encourages you to kind of spread out. Yeah, so that's the fields. As you could see in the map, they're all super narrow and super long, some dirt tracks. Yeah, that's about it. 
as the description says, this map has got farming agency support, so it's got all the farming agency additional fruits. And then, excuse us. And then, yeah, it's got precision farming, it's got maze plus. So, when you do your animals, not got any animals just yet, but if you purchase a cow, you'll see you'll have to purchase. I mean, you'll have to feed them with more than TMR. But I'm getting a bit lost here, but this is one of the other yards you can probably purchase. Once again, a little storage everywhere. That's one of our, well, the only plow we've got. So yeah, it looks like we've got chickens on this as well, I think. No, the chickens on the main yard actually, sorry. So yeah, let's just try and find our own yard and I'm gonna purchase a few cows. Let's go pasture. Let's see what the trigger is. Right, so if you get a few cows, you can now see that we require multiple things like hay, clover, hay, alpha, alpha, hay, hay, pallets, pellets, sorry, cl clover silage, alpha, alpha fermented, may silage. So it's not just grass, hay, straw, I mean grass, hay, TMR silage. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to buy a pickup truck. And it'll jump into right. So by the looks of it, this is where the main dealer is. What we're gonna do now is drive down up to this junction, go up here, have a look at the animal dealer, look at some of the sale points and some of the yards, and then drive all the way back up to the top of the farm. And depending on how much time we've got, we might drive up one of these dirt tracks and have a look at the forestry and stuff. If you do not have enough time in that case, I'm just gonna do a fly, fly over. Right, so let's leave the shop area. I do like that it's different and it's quite hilly as well as you say this based on the real life terrain. So it is hilly, it's got a lot of forestry. Let's have a look here. As I was mentioning in my wasn't set first look I really like how these type of maps got all the road network like um, made out of the dirt tracks with some nice detail here looks like some sort of a well or something yeah nice little creek or river a lot of detail like a lot of detail everywhere which is really nice Okay. Yeah, since I've done the first look on the Wasnissa map, I really want to do a let's play on this type of map. It's just the amount of detail is really nice. Small town. It does feel like the whole map from top to bottom as like driving through a small town and then you've got farms and fields on the sides. Yeah, so, so you can see a lot of detail. I know I keep repeating that, but it's just the way it is. Another kind of dirt track going up the, up the road besides the fields, so I'll probably give you access to all the other fields there. Uh, some bales. I like the texture of these bales, it looks really nice, it looks realistic. Yeah, some pedestrians, not too keen on the pedestrians, just feels like a bit of an overkill. If you went to a village in the real life, I'm sure you wouldn't be seeing that many people walking along alongside the road. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a horse farm on the left and we've got our Fiat tractor parked here as well. Right, that's the horse pasture. It is very nice uh, custom horse pasture built into the map. 
let's see if we can find a buy point. Yep. Right, so that's our horses. As I say, I really like the fact that everything is surrounded with a forest, so... Really is nice, uh, in my opinion. Let's have a look at the prices. So the horse farm comes with a couple of fields. Well, one field, two, two, one, five. And it isn't cheap at 400,000. Then next to that, we've got farm silo and another cow pasture. Comes with a field. Honestly, difficult to tell. I think it's 211. But yeah, the cow pasture is just on the other side of the road by the looks of it. So, it feels like it's not going to be easy navigating between the right farms and the right yards, if that makes sense, because everything's so compact and it doesn't really have this like proper di division between them. So it's a wee bit different to, I mean, a wee bit difficult to kind of see where you are, especially since it's so busy, right, the cow pasture's on the right. The PDA is really busy, so it's in my opinion difficult to navigate and right so it looks like it's an open pasture that's the feed trough I mean water trough so wonder where the trigger is the feed tr uh, I mean the trigger to purchase the cows is probably in the yard yeah this is an interesting one so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of Wandering around trying to find the uh, triggers. Let's see if we can find that. I can't quite see it, but... Yeah, maybe I have to own the land first, which would probably make sense. Anyway, let's not waste time. Oh, look at you. Nice and green. Okay, so let's drive down and see what else we've got. We've got a couple of sell points on the right, so let's take a wee look at those. Can get rid of this. Okay, so it does look like one of the sell points is over here. I really like that. Even the sell points look like just a kind of regular yard. It would be nice if you could find the trigger. It looks like it's just here. And these are just for a decoration. Since it's just a sell point, let's have a look. It's called Streech. Looks like a bale sale point. Yeah, you can sell all your hay, straw, silage and stuff. Right, let's maybe just walk up to the next one. Since it's just over here. Yeah, another one of those just a normal yard based ones. This looks I was gonna say it looks like an industrial building, but it doesn't really, it just looks like another house. And what have we got here? Uh, Bajo, Jajo, eggs. Sorry, my pronunciation isn't great, but yeah, as our egg sale point, so that's where you sell your eggs. Probably just drop it here as well. If we actually mark it. Right, that's where the trigger is. So yeah, it looks like all the sell points, you're just going to have to come up to the sheds at the back of the yard and then just drop your crop in, or eggs for instance. Okay, let's have a look at the BGA next. Yeah, all the woods are really nice, like super dense forests around the roads. Nice monument over here. And let's see where the BGA is. We've got Prismi, 
which looks like our root crop sale point and this is probably where the trigger is if we have a look here prismi that's it that's the root crop you have potatoes sugar beet carrots cabbage and stuff right let's go to the bga next which looks like it is on the right hand side somewhere right so that's the entrance to a bga which i'm really liking once again so yeah you've got a couple of silage bunkers and i love this where you can just reverse and tip really nice you don't see this on many maps so it is nice to have a, to have a sedition another thing i forgot to look at is digested pickup point i wonder if it's got an addition for our manure add-on the only problem is i can't see the trigger for digest it i don't know if that's me or there is no trigger to buy digest it well to take a digest it after you drop the silage and stuff in but i might just be missing it somewhere it's probably very obvious to you guys but it is not obvious to me so i'm just gonna leave it there should probably have a look at one of the cow pastures and see if it's got the proper attachment for once i'm gonna give someone away instead of just crashing into them right another dirt track into one of the fields uh, it doesn't actually look like a field it looks like a wee bit of forestry maybe a tiny field here but yeah it's pretty similar as the previous road it's basically just a road with a lot of forestry and nice little houses around another yard over here and we've got one more cell point on the left excuse me human right so it looks like that's our milk cell point yeah i'm really liking these cell points they are like super different they just don't look like industrial kind of buildings which is quite nice it's like everything is local that's our animal dealer everything is like kind of local it's, it, it almost looks like as if you were selling your produce to other farmers and that's the edge of the map <laughs> should have probably put the gate in it instead of like just having an invisible collision okay it looks like it's here then yeah this is what i was saying since the map is 4x and the pda is so busy that is probably why it's quite difficult to navigate and this is where our animals are once again start the cows i really don't like that some people might do like it but i just feel like you know just don't have anything instead of having static animals because if you just driving past it and you don't really pay attention to it, it might look okay but as soon as you walk up to it, it just doesn't look right yeah so it looks like that's about it that's the end of the, of the map and another thing i really like is you can't really tell where the map ends there let's see what that right so yeah this is the end of a map but it does look like it's just never ending if that makes sense okay so what i'll do now is i'll reset our truck and then instead of having to drive all the way back down i'm gonna start back at the store and go up north instead yeah like the more i look at these maps the more i want to play on them let's pretend that never happened 
this is what happens when I use keyboard, I just can't drive with keyboard. Yeah, I saw this in one of the images and I really like the look of that. It's just a V cliff, but it looks super nice. Uh, actually, let's jump into our truck and maybe drive down there. Dirt truck. It feels like a very nice map if you want to do forestry, like, it's not just like easily accessible woods and stuff like it's got hills and everything so it might make it a wee bit challenging to kind of drive up and down and then load your logs in a that's a nice field of alpha alpha here yeah it does look nice uh, see you can buy you can just buy a field and then you get a wee bit of forestry with it not in this case here you would just have to buy that forest but see if you went for 285 you got a good chunk of forest with it so you don't just have to stick to your regular farming you can do some forestry especially if you play with seasons you can work your fields during the spring summer and uh, and then in the winter you can just clear the woods really nice that it looks like we've got i was gonna say it looks like we've got a wee bit of a bigger farm but that's our starting farm so i'm talking nonsense there Okay, let's carry on going up north. Looks like we've got a pig pen on the left. Once again, I'm not too sure what yard it is, but it looks like it's one of these. Yeah, I'm like seriously liking all these different gates and different color fences and all different buildings. I'm from Lithuania myself and this just reminds me of a village in, Lithu in Lithuania. Right, looks like we've got some... That's the feed trough. Let's have a look at the PDA F. Right, so it looks like the pigs are just going to be going around the yard by the looks of it. But then again, I'm not quite sure if that's the pig pen or... Or if it's like a chicken pen. This is the only problem I'm having with a map so far, is the fact that it's really difficult to navigate between the yards. You don't know what yard actually has the pigs, and it looks like I've already gone past it. So what I'm going to do is I'll get some money in, and I'll try to maybe buy a couple of them. Right, let's get you... Yeah, it's not easy to actually click on what you want to click. Okay, so we've got a few yards here. Storage everywhere. Small sheds. But plenty. Plenty shed. Alright, so we've got our Voltra here. And we've got our manure, which means we are in the right yard for our pigs. At least that's my assumption. So this is our slurry point. It does not have manure system support. Another lovely silo here for your crop. I'm really wanting to find these pigs. And this is another cool silo right here. Not gonna lie, I do like that. It looks like for our root crops maybe. If you look at this and see if we got any croup. I mean root crop storage it does not look like a no nah. so it'll probably just be one of the regular silos and we do definitely own this so i'm still wanting to find the pigs chicken coop so i was right about the chicken there and i am stuck in a wall I just feel like I'm wasting time and I do not have too much time because I don't want this video to be lasting two hours just like spending half of that time me trying to find a pig pasture so we're just gonna carry on but yeah I, as I say I really like this it does remind me of my home country as well and this is one of the reasons I don't understand why I've never played on one of these maps just probably I'm so used to UK that 
the only maps I really play are either British maps or American maps. Yeah, so we've got another few yards. We've got our fuel station here on the right, which looks nothing like a nothing like a fuel station other than having a bunch of old cars parked everywhere. But it looks like this is where you get your diesel from. <clears throat> a nice purple house for the purple color fans, if there is any. Yeah, that's it. That looks like that's the end of the map again. And we've got some more cell points on this side, which we will try to discover. But I'm not going to be wasting my time if I can't see them. Uh, little football pitch. This looks like it could be our sawmill. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, yeah, this is where you sell your logs. And that's probably where you sit, sell your wood chips. So yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm not going to be wasting any more time looking at different fields and that. To be fair, I would really like to drive out the lane, but instead I'm just going to do a nice fly, fly over as an outro. So if you want to see what the map looks like from up there, stay with me for another minute or so. I'll see you guys later. Uh, once again, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you did subscribe, as I was mentioning in one of my videos before, 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed to the channel, so it would really be appreciated if you did subscribe. And that does actually look like a proper sell point right here. <laughs> and what can I sell here before we go? Elevator Visaki. Once again, my pronunciation is unacceptable, but yeah, it looks like you can sell your main crops. Okay guys, thanks again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.